Let's get that raspberry all over your shirt. Ooh. Good morning everybody we're back at uh, the cabin down here doing some work this morning myself and my daughter Ava are hard at work today I'm putting the uh, the girts on the wall which are the uh, horizontal members that are gonna um, be what the um, siding boards are nailed to let me show you so I'm up on the ladder now but these are going perpendicular to the studs so the stud wall is Basically interior framing. And then we're gonna go ahead and put barn siding on the side of this board and batten. And so what I'm dealing with now is something I've been wrestling with for the past couple of weeks of what I'm going to do with this soffit. Normally, the soffit would been perfectly squared off and vertical right here and then a straight return. But due to the dimensions on this thing, I took a 16 foot two by six, cut it in half to make my ceiling joists. And I just had enough length to um, get, get the thing made. Now, if I had, I didn't have enough to actually extend this out further and make a full triangle. So I just went with this kind of perpendicular style. It's perpendicular to the, um, to the roof surface. And so what I could do is do a vented soffit up in here, either aluminum or vinyl, to give some ventilation. But it's really a small area. And so I've been back and forth whether to go, bless you, I've been back and forth whether to make it vented or not. And what I've decided, I'm just going to go non-vented and seal it off because it's a cathedral ceiling all the way to the top. And I'm gonna box around these clear panels and make like from the inside, I'm gonna have uh, probably a tongue and, groove, tongue and groove board ceiling. And then I'm gonna box around these clear ones and then seal it up around the perimeter with trim and try to make like a skylight effect out of it. And portions of the ceiling, of course, are gonna be uninsulated, but that's all right. I mean, this is a, Weekend cabin. I don't think I'm gonna have too much trouble heating this thing in the grand scheme of things. And it was worth the trade off for getting some light in here. So back to this this vented off. I mean, the reason you want some venting in here is so you know you the moisture is um, controlled better and what have you. But I've done this in the past where we've just done a small building like this and did not go vented and it was fine. It's more of a problem when you have attic space with a lot of heat in it that you can get your um, roof sheathing to start buckling. Sometimes, uh, a lot of times, you'll get your um, your tin roof will start to sweat. But usually, when it's insulated like this, it uh, it takes care of a lot of that. So I'm gonna go sealed. It's not gonna be vented, right or wrong. That's the way I'm going. Um, got any opinions of that? Sure, share it in the comments. But that's the way I'm rolling with it. So we're going to keep on putting these girts up and um, 
get some siding on this thing. Did you catch a groundhog, Diesel? Did you catch a groundhog? He looks at you for a second and goes, Leave that groundhog alone. He's already having a bad day.
stables. There's one. They're everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot. fish finders. And then they circle the fish into a big spool, like they surround them and then eat them. I know. Here comes a boat. It's going to run right into them. Oh, no. They're going to look wet. Oh, I heard you squeal. That was Ava. Oh. <laughs> Well, we're done for the day. 
it is a million degrees here in Maryland and the uh, humidity is twice that. So um, the kids won't even come down here. It's so hot right now. The horse flies are bad. The humidity is bad. The mosquitoes are bad. So, um, you know, I'm just kind of winging it alone right now. I wish I was further along. But as you can see, I got most of the Tyvek done. Uh, we got all the girts up, obviously. And um, we still got to do it here on that front wall. And a little strip around the end. But uh, that's it for the day. I'd like to uh, been further along by now, but trying to do this plus uh, run two horse farms and keep up with uh, everything else is tough. So especially with this heat, but uh, we're slugging away and uh, see you on the next one. Hopefully on the next one, I'll uh, have all the doors and windows in for you and also a good portion of the siding. Um, I've used a lot of the poplar siding that I had on other things so i had a big stack earlier and it's getting smaller and smaller and i was hoping that was going to do this whole uh, building so i might have to get some logs and throw them on the mill and make some more siding but uh we got the we got the mill and we got the the logs so we just need some time so thanks again i won't ramble anymore please like and subscribe and god bless i'm on the bottom now i'm literally standing on the bottom Uh, I need uh, high heels.